I want to welcome you guys to CountryHealth.com. Today uh, we're going to reflect back. Uh, Thanksgiving was probably about a week ago. Uh, I remember back when the wife and I we were going to the grocery store trying to pick up some stuff for for our Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, I myself try to get some more natural, healthy type of things. I did manage to get us some sweet potatoes where I baked, and also acorn squash and. Uh, a lot of times at our house, we have a war going on with the foods we have, and the kids always kind of say, oh, look at your stomach, it's big. Well, they says you can't eat all that lettuce, and no wonder your stomach gets sick, because it's bloated a little bit from the, the lettuce and stuff, so uh, I lost a couple of the, the little type of uh, battles with them. You can see on the post, one of the posts where I did the macaroni, uh, one of their dinners where they had macaroni and cheese and cheese twisties, and and some of those long, I don't know what the heck, wafer cookies. But we go out and uh, start picking up potato buds and stovetop dressings. So we're not going to do that stuff. Well, the kids like it. And I says, okay. So I go and pick up the Ocean Spray Fresh Cranberries. She says, we're not doing that either. I says, what do you mean? She says, you tried to do that two years ago, doing healthy. And it, it didn't work out. We didn't like it. So we ended up getting one of these cranberry sauces, and, and luckily we didn't have it. I think my brother had it over at his house. But when you look at stuff like this, it, it has the cranberries, high fructose corn syrup, water, corn syrup. There isn't a whole lot good to it. And you always hear about the health benefits, uh, the cranberries, nutritional benefits, uh, homemade cranberries and stuff like that. And I, I know a lot of the girls out there, women, they always, the doctor always tells them, oh, have some cranberry sauce. Yeah, they have a urinary tract infection or whatever. Uh, pick up some 100% cranberry juice, and it's all pasteurized. So, in other words, what you're getting is once it's pasteurized, it becomes all sugar. There's not a whole lot of benefit to it. So, trying to, I, I already prepared this once, and when I did the blog, my head was cut off. So, of course, it's already made. But I didn't screw it up. I went ahead and uh, read the directions on here. And in the past time when I did do it, I used the sugar. I thought I was uh, making it healthy by using a pack of uh, fresh cranberries. So I used the sugar. And of course, you know the result. Sugar is bad. So I went on the internet trying to find a good healthy recipe. And believe it or not, a good percentage of them asked for the cup of white sugar. And if they don't ask for that, then they want to use a half a cup of white sugar with a half a cup of brown sugar. And you know the story with the brown sugar. It's just the equal twin, or the bad twin, of the white sugar. So, uh, some of them even go as far as using Splendid. You're probably wondering why I have some of this stuff. But on my steps to healthy, eating healthy and stuff, I did go with Splendid for a while. And I remember back uh, a few years ago, we had a, a birthday so I figure I'm going to make a healthy type of a, a topping, frosting. So it called for powdered sugar and Splenda, of course, had a way to use their sugar and put it in a processor and blend it and you would have powdered sugar. So I wasted a whole $9 bag to make this powdered sugar to make a healthy frosting, which really wasn't healthy, to put on a cake to make it healthy. So it was a total waste of money. There was nothing to it and I felt like, you know, you guys can salute me with the L. It's a, a loser thing. So another thing that I found is maple syrup. A lot of people don't realize that a lot there isn't a lot of good maple syrups up there. It's In fact, this one here, if you look, it's high fructose corn syrup. And a lot of those things you use for your pancakes and waffles, which aren't good anyway. So what I did is I already prepared this. I had the dual dates. I, I kind of like these. They're pretty cool. They're little round fruits. Uh, and you want to get the ones that are just from the dual dates or California dates. Because some of them when you get them it says dates and then it has sugar. You don't want to do that. I already processed them in a, in a blender. Added them. Put probably about a half a cup in there. It calls for a cup of sugar. I figured a half a cup is all I want. Um, Another option that you can do is uh, Pure Natural Honey. Uh, this here was from Trader Joe's. I usually get it off my website, but uh, this here is a touch of Northern Mexico and 
and I got to think, geez, isn't that the place you're not supposed to drink your water? I wonder how good this is. But it's a raw honey, same way with the maple syrup, 100% pure. And the trouble with these two is they're very expensive, so you're not going to want to take a whole cup of any of these. So if you want to make a little tinge of a flavor, maybe you want to add a little maple syrup, that's fine. A couple other things that I kind of think is pretty nice. You can be your own creator. We're already trying to make this healthy. Here's some currants. I think I saw a show. I think it was Dr. Oz where somebody said that currants uh, actually have the ability to fight your cancer cells in your body. So I kind of like to add these when I can. And when you look at it, it's just currants. There's no sugar because a lot of these things... I think I did a blog and I never realized until after I did it and I wasn't going to do the whole thing over because I think it was my, uh, uh, I don't know if it was my compass game or whatever, but if you look at the ingredients here, it has uh, cranberry sugar, grape juice concentrate, blueberry juice, con I mean, there's a lot of sugar in here, so this really isn't a good option. You want to try to get stuff like even these raisins I put in a handful. It's just raisins, California dried raisins. So those are pretty good options to put in. And it gives you the ability of having at least a little like a sugar cube type of effect. Like if you like a horse, you put a sugar cube and he kind of eats it. But I put some of that stuff in here with the mildew dates. Another thing that I kind of like is, is here's some uh, raw creamy unsalted almond butter. It's another one I usually get on my, my site, but as that Trader Joe's, you can tell, so I wanted to try their raw, creamy stuff. So I put in like a, just a tablespoon of it. In fact, I just threw a fork in there. So basically what I have here is I put some, I not only took the bad out with, with the white sugar or the brown sugar or any of the, the you know, the fake sugars like blend and stuff, I put the raw natural stuff with them in the dual dates that carry some uh, a little bit of fiber, a lot of potassium. It's pretty good. Uh, another couple options, like I said here, uh, you can do anything you want. Trying to make it where you take the white sugars out and add your own stuff and try to add on to not only the healthy of the cranberry, but also you can add other stuff that kind of pertains to it. Uh, I've seen where people kind of put apples, you know, chopped apples and stuff like that. But this is an idea to try to help you out with your cranberry sauce. You're not going to get what you want out of something like this or even your juice, your processed sugars and stuff like that. So there is, if there's a way, you can go ahead and try to uh, look into different options, try to experiment a little bit. But, uh, like I said, right here, I was able to, to create a nice cranberry sauce. So, uh, that's it for this vlog. Talk to you later. Bye.